Hold up. Receive the promises, right? Amen to that, dude. All right, come on. Let's open it up. Let's see what you got. See what you got. Just what I've been needing. Really? A piece of plastic. No, wait. That that is just shipping material. Let's see what else is in there. Oh, styrofoam! I knew it. Styrofoam? Yeah. You've been waiting four weeks for styrofoam. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This stuff is really good. Wait, there's something else in there. I'm gonna look. Right behind the plastic. You waited four weeks for a hair brush. You don't understand how long I've been waiting for this. I ordered it off of uh, Amazonian Jungle. Okay. And it finally came in. Now I can comb my hair. Quick question. Did you have their express shipping or did you just use the regular? No, I pressed that button that said uh, uh, standard shipping.
guys, it's Teacher Cam. Thank you so much for joining us today. And hey, we want to steer you to our V1 Kids site at VisaliaFirst.com slash kids. If you guys look under under the video, you will see a little button that says the V1 Kids Connect card. There you can actually uh, put your name, you can put how you're feeling. In fact, we actually have a few different sections there. We have our praise report section or, or our prayer request section where if you guys need anything, if you need a Bible, if you need prayer for something, just write it down in there. If, if this is your first chance accepting Jesus into your life, we actually have a little section under the V1 Kids section right there where you can actually uh, put your name, you can put your email, you can say that, hey, I just accepted Jesus into my life. We would love to be able to hear from you guys and actually be able to pray with you and give you guys the next step information that you'll need. Anyway, thank you so much for joining us today, and we're going to kick it over to Pastor Chad. Take it away, Pastor Chad. V1 Kids, Pastor Chad here with you. So excited to be here with you on this Sunday as we get to dive in again to the big God story and learn about what Jesus is doing in our lives. Hey, as you know, before we go any further, we need to pray together. So let's bow our heads, close our eyes, and let's pray to the Father. Father, we just say thank you for this time and this opportunity, God, that you've given us. Lord, you are here with us, whether we're on a device or on a computer. Lord, we know that you're still within us in our presence, God. So, Lord, we ask that you speak to our hearts and our minds today. Let us be open to receive what you have and to hear it clearly from you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, God. We love you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, I'm excited to be here with you today as we get ready to just venture into God's Word and hear more about what He is doing in our lives and how He is preparing us through these pauses. Last week, we got to learn about the story in the book of Acts, how Jesus allows pauses to prepare us for the promise, right? And we learned in that story how his apostles all got together, the women, the, the mother the Mary, uh, the mother of, of Jesus, and also uh, the, uh, the other men that were there as well. And the thing was is they got together to do one thing alone. They didn't just gather, but they prayed constantly. That's right. Prayer is so valuable in our lives as the body of Christ, as believers. Prayer is our, our way to God, our communication with Him, right? And this is how they outreached to Him. This is how they spoke to the Father in Heaven. That was through prayer continually. That's what we need to be doing, right? And Jesus was telling us this. But back when Jesus was still alive, right, there was this thing that He did for His disciples. He promised them something, right? He had just got through done caring about them, giving them comfort. As a matter of fact, right before we're going to be in the book of John, uh, it tells us that Jesus tells them he's the way to the Father. He's the only way to the Father, right? But he said that when he leaves, that he's going to send somebody special. And that's what we're going to learn about today. How pauses help us receive the promise, right? That's right. We've been learning all about pauses and how pauses are really big in our life right now. We're on this big pause, all of us at home, you know, having to do what we have to do, and things are different, but I'm going to tell you something, we're going to learn some really amazing things in these pauses. As Jesus kept going on in his conversations with his disciples, we're going to, it's going to take us right to John chapter 14. You know, Jesus is here with his disciples, you know, he's talking to them, he's comforting them, he's preparing them, and he's telling them that, again, like I was telling you earlier, he's the only way to the Father. But he knew that he was going to have to leave. He knew he was going to have to die on the cross and that he was going to go and be in heaven with the Father. But he wanted to prepare his disciples for something important, the promise that was coming, right? And in this pause, in order to receive it, they had to know and remember exactly what Jesus had told them. So we're going to be in the book of John, chapter 14, and we'll be in verses 14, uh, I'm sorry, 26 through 27. The Bible tells us this, but the advocate, the advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, the name of Jesus, will teach you all things and remind you of everything I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. So don't let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. 
Wow, what a powerful verse of scripture, especially right now, right? Jesus is telling his disciples here, check this out. I'm going to leave, but I'm going to send you the advocate. Somebody who's for you, not against you. Somebody who's going to help you and guide you when you need to be guided. That is the Holy Spirit, right? The Holy Spirit whom the Father will send in my name. Well, whose name? The name of Jesus, right? That's right. The promise that Jesus is telling, he's foretelling right now in the book of John that's to come what we've been experiencing in the book of Acts, right, with the apostles. That's the promise that he was talking about there. And he goes on to say that, hey, I'm going to leave you with peace, right? The world, the world will not. As a matter of fact, the world will give you troubles. Don't let your heart be troubled, he said, and do not be afraid. Hey, friends, I know that sometimes with things that are going on around us, it's really hard not to be afraid. It's really hard not to worry. It's really hard not to have fear. But Jesus, as he was telling his disciples to trust in him, and to have peace, only the peace that he could give them. That's the same peace that we need to allow ourselves to be in. That's what it's like when we abide in Jesus, when we clothe ourselves with Jesus. So, knowing that Jesus is our helper, right? This is what's cool about it. That word advocate also means like counselor. And here's what's really cool about it. That really truly means it's one who's called alongside to help. Wow, that is great news. I don't know about you, but I know that I need someone by me constantly to help me. Now, I, when I was younger, I had mom and dad to help guide me. But God has always been there. The Holy Spirit has always been there to help guide me right alongside who I am, who I'm becoming, and who I will be. Because it's only through Jesus that we're able to do this. That's right, through Jesus. I want Jesus' peace. I don't want what the world gives me. The world is going to tell us all kinds of stuff. Right? You hear that, that stuff going on in your ears and you just want to sh just push it away? Do that. Sometimes the world, it just gives us too much and it overwhelms us. But let the peace of Jesus, let the advocate, the Holy Spirit, the one who comes alongside you to guide you, to counsel you, to love you, and to protect you. That's what we need in our lives. Hey friends, here's the cool thing about it. We can have that relationship with Jesus. All we have to do is say a prayer. All we have to do is believe in our hearts that Jesus, He is the one that has called us. Hey, so the Bible tells us, boys and girls, that in order to have a relationship with Jesus, we have to confess with our mouths that He is Lord and believe that God raised Him from the dead. Ask Him for forgiveness of our sins. So we're going to say that prayer right now. If you'd like to say that prayer with me, and this is the first time that you've ever accepted Jesus, say this prayer with me. Hey, guys at home that have ever said this prayer before, you can help us out just repeating after me. Father God, thank you for this day. And Jesus, I love you. I am a sinner, and I need your saving. Please forgive me, Lord, for all my sins. I want to follow you. And Holy Spirit... Help me, guide me, and fill me right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, I am so excited for you that you made that decision today. Just like uh, Teacher Cameron said earlier, we have a connect card that really is a cool tool for you to have for us to connect with you. You could share on there that you have accepted Jesus for the first time. Check that box. Make sure you put your name and all your information so we can get a hold of you. And I would love to make a personal phone call to you. Also, remember that there's a prayer requests and praise report box in there. We want to hear from you. We want to be able to celebrate and pray with you as well. Hey, guys, we're so excited that we were here with you. We got to hear God's word. But until we see you next time, remember, God is good. And also, remember, guys, we have a couple family questions at the end. Make sure you guys join in on those questions, spend some family time together, and just have some good quality time with Jesus. Hey, we'll see you guys again next time. See you guys. Thank you.